Hey man, I wanted to send you an update. Um, I mean, I saw that you had asked for the switch, and I, I spent a day because the way the box is set up, I couldn't do it like the other one because of the way the little things sit in there, and uh, it took me a while to figure out how to get it all together and make it all work. But I did get it all set up. I wanted to show you what the switch looks like first. I put the switch on the top here, and it just sits up here. It's 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 that. Uh, about as flush as I can get it while you can still easily use it with your fingers. Let me get this. There you go. Just barely above it, but that way you can just easily click it on and off. You don't have to worry about whether or not you're going to find it. Uh, as far as the uh, the bottom cut goes, I saw you you said you wanted it around the side, so I did put it at that angle. So it is it's halfway across where it's like that, so that you can usually push it from the side. Um, and then of course the, uh, the light. I did get it all together. It all works very nicely. It hits very strongly. It, it's just got a real good hit to it. Um, the, uh, tensioner over here. But I did, like I said in the other video, I put it out of the way so when you hold it, you know, like you would normally, this is over here so you won't be grabbing it and messing with it with your thumbs or your fingers. And uh, the light works really well. You can even see it from the top. Uh, I can't really turn off the light to show you, but I will take this down so I can let it go for a little bit longer. And it actually fills the whole case up pretty well. And it's got a little bit of a dark juice in there right now, which is why it's slightly dim, but it's still very bright and very nicely. Uh, I ended up putting it at the bottom of the uh, juice bottle itself. And uh, I ran the lines. So, I mean, there will be two wires you can see that run over and across the chip and down they sit next to the board they sit next to the LCD they're in there real good so that way when you take the bottle in and out they don't come out I actually put a little piece or a little bit of a epoxy along the side of them there so that way they're actually held in there really well and uh, when you put the bottle up in there it just clicks in and of course the uh, top clicks on you turn it on, and you're good to go. Show you the dropout. Uh, let's see here, what is that? 4.22. Standard Addy that's a 2.8 or 2.7, I think the last time I checked it. And with that, 4.20. So, 0 0.02 dropout on a standard attic. That's such a wonderful flavor to it. Um, if you have any other questions or anything, just let me know. I'm going to get it shipped out for you tomorrow morning.